Hello, dear brothers and sisters, it is a pleasure to welcome you to another powerful psalm that inspires and strengthens us. Today, we will delve into Psalm, an inexhaustible source of comfort and faith. I invite you to join me on this journey of reflection and spiritual renewal. Let's explore together the depths of this Psalm 85 and discover the transformative truths it offers us. Psalm 85, a gem found in the Book of Psalms, is a poetic and spiritual expression that transcends the centuries, echoing the depths of the human relationship with the divine. Composed in an uncertain period of Israel's history, this psalm resonates with a voice that calls for forgiveness, restoration, and renewal of the divine presence among the chosen people. His poetic narrative is a symphony of supplication and hope, woven with threads of gratitude for the past, longing for the present and confidence in the future. Psalm 85 begins with a bow, remembering the time when God showed favor to the land of Israel, restoring Jacob's fortunes and forgiving the sins of his people. It is a remembrance not only of past acts of divine mercy, but also an expression of faith in the possibility that such grace can be renewed again. The psalmist's words reflect a heart that longs for reconciliation with the divine, questioning whether God's wrath will be eternal or whether there is room for restoration and joy. Throughout the psalm, there is a continual quest for the manifestation of the Lord's unwavering love and the granting of his salvation. This search is not only individual, but also corporate, representing the collective cry of the people of Israel for the restoration of their communion with the divine. The psalmist recognizes the importance of attentive listening to God's words and obedience to his commandments as foundations for peace and salvation. The poetry of Psalm 85 transcends mere supplication and reaches a profound vision of divine and human harmony. The encounter between love and fidelity, justice and peace is portrayed as a heavenly kiss, symbolizing the reconciliation between the divine and the earthly. This utopian vision is not just a wish, but a prophecy of hope, which points to the promise of divine goodness and the abundance it brings to the earth. At the end of the psalm, justice is personified as a precursor of God's steps, preparing the way for his redemptive intervention. It is a powerful picture of how divine righteousness precedes and accompanies God's every action toward restoration and renewal. Thus, Psalm 85 transcends the boundaries of time and space, echoing through the ages as an eternal reminder of the human capacity to turn to the divine for forgiveness, renewal, and redemption. Psalm 85, a pearl among the Psalms, is a timeless testimony to the connection between humanity and the divine. This poetic composition, originating from an uncertain period in Israel's history, resonates with a voice that pleads for forgiveness, restoration, and renewal of the divine presence among the chosen people. His lyrical narrative is a symphony of supplication and hope, intertwined with gratitude for the past, longing for the present and confidence in the future. Psalm 85 begins with reverence, evoking the memory of God's acts on behalf of the land of Israel, restoring Jacob's fortunes and absolving the sins of his people. This evocation is not only a return to a history of divine mercy, but also an expression of faith in the possibility that such grace can be renewed. The psalmist's words reflect a heart that yearns for reconciliation with the divine, questioning whether God's wrath will be eternal or whether there is room for restoration and joy. Throughout the psalm, there is a continual quest for the manifestation of the Lord's unwavering love and the granting of his salvation. This search is not only individual, but also corporate, representing the collective cry of the people of Israel for the restoration of their communion with the divine. The psalmist recognizes the importance of attentive listening to God's words and obedience to his commandments as foundations for peace and salvation. The poetry of Psalm 85 transcends mere supplication and reaches a profound vision of divine and human harmony. The encounter between love and fidelity, justice and peace is portrayed as a heavenly kiss, symbolizing the reconciliation between the divine and the earthly. 
This utopian vision is not just a wish, but a prophecy of hope, which points to the promise of divine goodness and the abundance it brings to the earth. At the end of the psalm, justice is personified as a precursor of God's steps, preparing the way for his redemptive intervention. It is a powerful picture of how divine righteousness precedes and accompanies God's every action toward restoration and renewal. Thus, Psalm 85 transcends the boundaries of time and space, echoing through the ages as an eternal reminder of the human capacity to turn to the divine for forgiveness, renewal, and redemption. Now we will meditate on Psalm 85, and then we will say a prayer, and then we will pray the Our Father. You, Lord, showed favor to your land. You restored the fortunes of Jacob. You forgave the iniquity of your people and covered all their sins. You set aside all your wrath and turned from your fierce anger. Restore us again, God our Savior, and put away your displeasure toward us. Will you be angry with us forever? Will you prolong your anger through all generations? Will you not revive us again, that your people may rejoice in you? Show us your unfailing love, Lord, and grant us your salvation. I will listen to what God the Lord says. He promises peace to his people, his faithful servants, but let them not turn to folly. Surely his salvation is near those who fear him, that his glory may dwell in our land. Love and faithfulness meet together. Righteousness and peace kiss each other. Faithfulness springs forth from the earth, and righteousness looks down from heaven. The Lord will indeed give what is good, and our land will yield its harvest. Righteousness goes before him and prepares the way for his steps. Lord God and Heavenly Father, I now approach your presence to cry out for blessings upon each individual gathered here upon each family represented. I ask you, Lord, to free your sons and daughters from difficult times, to heal the sick, to be at the side of those in hospitals, and for all wounds to be healed by your powerful hand. Lord, I pray that you put away every envy, every evil eye, every snare of the enemy that seeks to harm your children. Remember the story of Isaac, who was envied by Abimelech and others. So, I ask you, Lord, free your sons and daughters from all envy and all evil that may surround them. In your word we find comfort and hope. We recognize that we have been through many struggles, through arid deserts, and sometimes the temptation to give up becomes strong. Therefore, Lord, I beg you to attend to each one of us, to perform miracles in our lives, to free us from all evil and grant us the peace that we so desire in our hearts. May your children's dreams and desires be blessed by you, Lord. May difficulties become opportunities for growth and may sadness dissipate in the face of your divine light. Grant, Lord, the restoration of life for each of us, the healing for broken hearts and the joy that only you can give. Also bless all nations and people connected through this prayer. May your presence be felt in every home, in every heart that cries out for you. You are our refuge and our fortress, and only in you do we find true salvation. I thank you, Lord, for your infinite mercy and love shown on the cross. May your name be exalted forever. May your blessings abound upon us. May we be kept from all evil in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we turn to you in this hour with humility and reverence, seeking your grace and mercy upon every soul present here and in every family represented. We ask you, Lord, to free your loved ones from moments of anguish and affliction, to heal the sick and bring comfort to those suffering in hospital beds. May your powerful hand be extended to heal all wounds, physical and emotional, bringing renewal and restoration. In your infinite wisdom, we know that you understand the struggles of your sons and daughters. Therefore, we beg you to remove all envy and evil eyes that try to harm us. Just as you protected Isaac from the envy of Abimelech and others, we ask you, Lord, to free us from all evil, 
guiding us away from the bonds of the enemy. You are our firm rock, our safe refuge in times of storm. In your hands we place our burdens and worries, trusting that you hear our prayers and respond in accordance with your perfect will. Grant us strength to persevere in adversity and faith to trust in your sovereign plans. May the dreams and aspirations of your children be blessed by your abundant grace. May challenges become opportunities for spiritual growth, and may sadness be replaced by the joy that we only find in your presence. May the light of your truth dispel all darkness and guide us along the path of hope and peace. Pour, Lord, your blessing on all nations and people united by this prayer. May your love overflow in every heart and may your peace reign in every home. You are our Savior, the Prince of Peace, and we trust you to guide us through every trial. We thank you, Lord, for your constant faithfulness and unwavering love. May your name be glorified forever. Protect us from all evil. Strengthen us in your grace and grant us victory over our difficulties. In the name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior, we pray. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Glory to God. As we conclude our reflection on Psalm 85, we are led to contemplate not only its words, but also the depths of the human and spiritual experience that it encapsulates. This psalm is not just a piece of ancient literature, but a window into the human soul in its never-ending search for forgiveness, restoration, and meaning. Its message resonates through the ages, touching the hearts of those who face challenges, seek reconciliation, and yearn for a deeper connection with the divine. At the heart of Psalm 85 is the reality of the human condition, a journey marked by failures, regrets, and the never-ending search for redemption. Yet at the same time, the psalm radiates hope, revealing the promise of a divine love that transcends our weaknesses and offers the possibility of renewal. It is a reminder that despite life's tribulations, God's grace and mercy are always within our reach, waiting to welcome us with open arms. Furthermore, Psalm 85 challenges us to reflect on the nature of the human relationship with the divine and with others. He reminds us of the importance of humility, honesty, and the pursuit of justice in our interactions with God and those around us. It is an invitation to cultivate a faith that not only seeks personal benefit, but is also concerned with the restoration and reconciliation of the entire community. Finally, Psalm 85 encourages us to keep the flame of hope alive, even in the darkest circumstances. It is an expression of confidence in God's faithfulness and the promise that His justice and love will prevail in the end. Therefore, as we meditate on the words of this psalm, we are challenged to renew our faith, to nourish our hope, and to constantly seek the presence and grace of the divine in our lives. May we be inspired by the poetry and wisdom of Psalm 85 as we continue our spiritual journey toward wholeness and peace. As we close our reflection on Psalm 85, we are led into a deeper contemplation not only of its words, but also of the most intimate layers of human and spiritual experience that it encapsulates. This psalm transcends its historical context, becoming a mirror reflecting the universal aspirations struggles and longings of humanity in its search for truth, redemption, and meaning. At the heart of Psalm 85, the complexities of the human condition pulse, a journey marked by weaknesses, regrets, and an incessant search for renewal. However, at its core, the psalm emanates a light of hope, revealing the promise of a divine love that surpasses our limitations and offers the path to restoration. It is an invitation to remember that, despite the storms of life, divine grace and mercy are always within our reach, ready to welcome us with tenderness. 
Furthermore, Psalm 85 challenges us to reflect on the nature of human relationships, both with the divine and with our fellow humans. He encourages us to practice humility, sincerity, and the pursuit of justice in all our interactions, thus nurturing a community based on love and reconciliation. It is an invitation to cultivate a faith that transcends selfishness, worrying not only about one's own well-being, but also about the restoration and harmony of the entire community. Finally, Psalm 85 encourages us to keep the flame of hope burning, even when the shadows of uncertainty hang over us. It is an expression of confidence in God's unwavering faithfulness and the promise that His justice and love will triumph in the end. Thus, as we meditate on the words of this psalm, we are challenged to renew our faith, to nourish our hope, and to incessantly seek divine presence and grace in each step of our spiritual journey in search of plenitude and peace. May this psalm remain not just an ancient text, but a timeless guide on our path toward light and truth.